just text support.
upset. Me and my husband are working. Together. We're so lucky to even have a job on Triple Zero Poker. But still not enough. Why are you here? Well, I just needed to escape my old life. I want to start a new life without all the drama and men who don't even care about me. I packed my bags in the middle of the night and left. I just couldn't take it anymore. What happened? Well, I was just bored of my life, so I thought, why not? I wish I had enough money to just get on a boat and start my life over whenever I wanted. Life with money isn't all that great, you know. So lonely, and I don't think I'll ever be able to find the one. Mary's life isn't the best either, but I guess I see what you mean. It's just ever since I was younger, I've dreamt of being rich and having beautiful diamonds like you do. They are nice, but I'd rather have true love. But look at your jewelry. Look at your bracelet. The diamonds are really gorgeous. They are rather nice, if you're into diamonds and all that. This bracelet alone is worth about a thousand dollars. It's custom made, you know. A rich fan bought it for me a couple months back after an affair. That's all they do. Fall in love, buy me stuff, then leave. The well conducted rendezvous makes a big Charles, please. 
You've been going on about this all day. Just get back to work. No, listen, one day I'll be rich. I'll be so rich, everyone will know my name. Keep telling yourself that. I've been working from ship to ship for months and I've barely made enough to keep myself afloat. You don't really expect to get rich off a job like this, do you? Don't worry about it. I've got my plans. I even brought some money from me. I'm gonna make my dreams come true. Well, I wish you luck. But for now, let's focus on the task at hand. I 
anything happens, we know there's enough life boats for the top deck and anyone important. Sir, don't you think that's a little... Now low? follow me. We're going to check up on the rest of the ship. Sir, I know you designed the ship, but don't you think it's a little excessive to run around the whole place every hour? You really think these four folk can handle the ship by themselves? Now quit talking. Get a move on. Understood, sir. We should set the boiler room first. How was the performance? Uh, fine. You did just fine. Look, John, I saw someone from the audience that was from the disaster. You mean the disaster? Yes. Yes, the disaster. <laughs> but are you caught doing one of your stupid magic tricks? What? You caused that fire? I read about it on the newspaper. I didn't know it was you. It was just an accident. Who cares? We need to get you off this boat so you don't get caught. This boat doesn't work for another two months and I can't stop performing. Well, we need to think of something fast. to be afraid. How do you expect to even think at all when you have stuff like that? I guess you're right. Oh, Jenny, I really don't want to be like this anymore. I can't live with him like this. No, I know. You deserve something better than a scumbag like him. I'll die. He'll kill me one day. I have to be like, leave him. I really do, but... You don't know where to go. And this voyage, you know how long it's supposed to be? Sixty days. And two days have passed. Fifty-eight more to go. Two months? I can't live about another two months. Please, Jenny, there must be something you can do. I'm just your maid, a servant. But I guess that also obliged me to listen to you. Look, the reality is that we're on a two month long boat ride. I'm more than happy to assist you in a wild escapade away from your burning rubbish pile to a wife beater, but that can't happen when we're here. You're not expecting me to just We've talked about this, Angelica. There's not much we can do while we can't get off this boat. We can... We can't hide because there are people everywhere on this ship and you'll starve without food from the deck. So... So? There's only one option left. Yes, yeah, suffering for two months on this forsaking boat. Didn't we go through this already? No, Angelica. The other one. Murdering your husband. <gasps> you dead serious? Uh, where are we going to have his body, and how are we going to escape from the authority? You know how he is after a blow-up like that? Yes, back to his calm and likable self. That's why he's exhausted to try and protect him. Invite him to dinner tomorrow. Have a couple of glasses. And then? I'll take care of it from there. Yeah, I'll just do that. Are you sure? What's your ideal? <laughs>
Charles, Joseph. Just a routine checkup. I trust you've been doing your jobs. What is this? What is what, sir? This. Two of these engines are completely empty. With work like this, how on earth do you expect us to keep sailing for another 58 days? Harvey, please, they've been- They've been what, Walter? Slacking off again? I just have some empathy for them for a minute, okay? It's been two days at sea. We don't know what happened. If you have so much empathy for them, then maybe you should be the one shoveling coal. Oh, I need somebody help. Not just anybody help. Budge. I'm sorry, guys. Harvey can have a bit of a temper. What are you doing? Working. What else are we meant to do? You can be serious. We are locked inside this place for who knows how long, and the first thing you think about is shoveling coal? We can't just sit by and let them treat us like this. Look, this is my last job. Once I'm off this boat, I'll finally go back home. My wife and kids are overseas waiting for me. At this point, I'd do anything to make time go by faster. Guys, anyone else feeling a little faint? I don't think here's the best place to be locked inside. Hey, uh, does the door often get jammed like this? I don't know, we leave it open for fresh air. Yeah. Hey, boss, do you even have a key for this room? Uh, no. Harvey's phone has all of them. He's really the only one? Don't you think that's a bit weird? I've never really thought about it. Can't you maybe hurry this up a little? My head's getting real fat. <laughs> Look at him. He can't even stand. It must be the fumes. We need to get out. I need somebody help. Not just anybody help. You know I need someone help. So what are we going to do then? John? Robert? I am so over all your problems. It was just an accident. I don't care. You're 29. Grow up. If you don't want to lose my problems, you don't have to. Are you firing him? <laughs> you can't fire me. I'm the manager. I'm the one who's supposed to fire you. I'm not firing you. It just sounds like it. <laughs> it sure does sound like it. Look, you're my brother and I'm your manager. We need to work this out together. We have to do something. This person can't see me at all. Why? What's going to happen? What's gonna happen is I'm, get, is I'm gonna get arrested again. Well, what are we supposed to do then? I don't know, let me think. Hmm. Seems like he's storing some hot water. This person reports him. We can make some Azuma out of this. <laughs>
drink any of this. Okay. This wine has the magic taste like juice, but a cup of it can knock out an elephant. The people downstairs drink it to go to sleep quickly when the colds are too loud. With just one shot, that Jonathan of yours should become extremely drowsy. Jealous of you, look at me. I need you to commit to this, or neither of us will be seeing the light of day tomorrow. Yes, yes, I know. Perfect. Perfect. 